You are now cooking with Free the Keto Coach. And I think I've been wondering where is Free and Lydia been been at? So hey man, I've been pushing the TikTok, been pushing my YouTube. As you can see, I got 500 subscribers. And uh, please subscribe, Keto is Live TV. It's gonna be something really huge and amazing. It's almost there. So today we are cooking something that I just thought about. So we're cooking chicharron with pollo in Chile, which means pork rinds with um, chicken, breast, ch chicken breast, and salsa. So we got the chicken right here. We got all the, the vegetables right here. I chopped all the vegetables up already. We're gonna go ahead and use just some that we have left over. We always have this in our house. Chicharron is why, because they're good for keto. So we got these right here, and we also got some of these right here. Here. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to first start by putting a little bit of olive oil in our pan. Remember, when you're doing the keto lifestyle, you can use olive oil, olive oil you can use avocado oil, uh, coconut oil, and you can use real butter. And that's pretty much all you can use, right? So we're going to go ahead and put this on here right here. Hope everybody's having a lovely day. I just, I, we've been praying for the whole country, man, because it's crazy right now. So, as you can see over here, I, I gutted all the tomatoes out, because remember I told y'all, the seeds. And honestly, if you were cooking this, you would be fine. So I am going to cook this, and I would have been fine, but I still gutted the seeds out. I don't know why I did, but I did. So these seeds right here are not good to eat when it's a, when it's a tomato like this, but if you're heating it up, or anything like that, then you're gonna kill the, 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 the what do they call it? Lectin. The, the lectins in it. The lectins, what the lectins do, they stop you from uh, your, your, your gut from losing weight. All right? So, if you eat a few of them, you're gonna be okay, but it's just what you don't need to have. So we got this going on right here. We're gonna go ahead and start with the chicken. Oh, I've got to do my bell pepper. Hold on. We're gonna go ahead and get the bell pepper right now. Get the bell pepper. And the bell pepper is going to be for the cauliflower Mexican rice. I'm doing a cauliflower Mexican rice for y'all. And uh, We haven't had rice in a while. Yeah, and I'm also doing... Um, I'm going to show y'all how I take my apple cider vinegar to flush my body every day. And what it's good for. It's really good for your high blood pressure. If you've got high blood pressure, it's good for everything. I really don't got nothing wrong with me. But I just try to show people what I take. Okay, so okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this going. Okay. The oil right here. We're gonna put the chicken down on it right now. You can season your chicken before or after. I choose to season it right now, so we're gonna go to season it right now. When you're working with chicken, make sure you wash constantly because you never know. The chicken is not going to be having all around. You gotta make sure you wash it. My baby have been washing dishes. You're supposed to wash dishes. What do you have on today? You have Donna, George, Hernandez, Valerie, Nicole, What's Ariel, up, Mary Martinez. What's up, y'all? Nicole, Hector. Oh, already. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Natasha, Eric. Now, can I get all of y'all, can I get everybody that's on here watching me, do me a favor and go subscribe to my, my YouTube channel, man, because... I am trying to get to my thousand so I can go live and show you more shows. What is that? Onion powder? Uh, oh, that's onion powder. Onion powder. And what you see right here, <laughs> this will be all in my cookbook and you'll have all Natasha the Natasha said you need to hurry up with that. You'll have all the measurements. I tell them every morning, Natasha. It's coming. It's every coming. morning. It's coming. If y'all knew how busy I was, okay, we need paprika a little bit. Have y'all seen my channels? You know I like to use paprika. Let me come to this side. We're going to do turmeric. Why? Because turmeric is good for you. And it gives you really good color. We do a little turmeric. We're going to do a little bit of sazon. And I'm going to have the right measurements when the book comes out. And it's going to be on my YouTube. So everything, I mean, if you go to my YouTube, you can see some recipes that I've already done not too long ago. We're going to do some cumin. Cumin. Cumin's good. So we're going to do cumin. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and move the chicken around. I need my favorite spoon. I'm gonna move it around. Natasha said men don't listen. <laughs> yeah, we don't. They don't, stubborn. That, uh, uh, but he'll get on, no, but he'll get on TikTok. It's like, up. Oh. 
Oh, speaking of TikTok, guys. I say get off TikTok and stop speaking start of typing. TikTok, I have I'm close to 40,000, 40,000 views on my my fried chicken on my spicy fried chicken. Hey, Rick. Forty thousand views. Yep, almost forty thousand. But finally, man, I was able to hit my five hundred mark uh, of my uh, YouTube. Guys, it takes seconds to subscribe. Please go subscribe. That that'll help me big time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just pick the heat up a little bit. <laughs> Natasha said she's addicted to TikTok now. She can't say nothing. She said. What's your TikTok name? Uh, Gilbert Patino. Gilbert Patino. Just put, put the, the keto coach. Keto coach? Yeah. It pops up. You should find me with keto Nicole, coach. we'll go ahead and post it on the video too. I'm not sure what it is. Daryl says, hey. What's up, Daryl? Mary says she needs lots of keto desserts. Sugaristhedevil.net. Well, we did, um, if you go to the YouTube channel, we just did some cheesecake chimichangas. And how many views does that have on your TikTok? Oh, man. Is it like a 10,000? It was at yeah, 10,000 last time. It's up there. It's up there. Because nobody's ever done it. A lot of stuff I do, nobody's ever done. Like what I'm making right now, nobody's ever done it. And if they done it, they didn't do it keto style. So. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the vegetables now in it. Come over here and put the vegetables in it. What we got in the vegetables, we got... We have onion, white onion. We have tomatoes, remember with no seeds. We have um, some bell peppers. We're gonna put a little bell peppers in there right here. And serranos? Yeah, serranos. So we're gonna get like that. That's perfect. And the rest is gonna be for my rice, because we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna go ahead and move it around like this, All right? All right, guys. So now that we're gonna let it, we're gonna let it do what it does. We're gonna go ahead and put the what do you call it? Uh, Turn on it. Not the, the, pork the, rinds. Um, pork rinds. We'll put the pork rinds in there like this. Put the pork rinds. And again, we're just using stuff that we have left over because Lydia's always talking about. You better, take, you better eat it. So. Oh, I hate stuff that's open and left in the pantry. So we're gonna put it like that. That's one thing that. That's another thing that bothers me. Oh, yeah. Not the one thing. This all ain't about what bothers you. Well, I was just pointing out that I don't like stuff left over in the pantry and nobody eats it. If you buy it, you got to eat it. Can't sit there forever. All right, guys, that's enough. That's plenty. So now we're going to go ahead and toss it around our meat like this. And the good thing about this is some of these things... I don't get to them, and they, I mean, there's been times where I buy them again. I forget that I got them in the pantry, and uh, she gets after me. She tells me, "Man, you're buying them again." But I buy them all the time, and sometimes they might get stale, right? Well, these right here are not actually all the way stale, but if they do get stale, this is a good way to use them, right? So you're just gonna move it around. Well, and when they start getting stale, you use them for the breading for your chicken as well, right? Huh? Yeah. You use them for the breading. Yeah. So we're just gonna mix it around. That way you're not wasting food. We're making everything soft again, guys. Everything soft again. So we're gonna let it just get soft a little bit and then we're gonna add some liquid to it. And what, then- What are you like adding? You said salsa? Form. Yeah, I'm gonna add a, a, a pan of tomato sauce. And then we're gonna add a little bit of water to it. We're gonna go ahead and get the, let's get the, let's go ahead and get the, the cauliflower Mexican rice going. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this right here. You need it um, on. Um, Michelle said, "Yum! I'm already hungry. It's late." Get this off right here. You cut your tomatoes off right here. We're gonna eat the tomato. We're gonna put tomato. This is gonna be for the rice. Yeah, I am. 
while you're over there chopping. All right. I put oil here already for you. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're gonna come over here. Remember, uh, doing the cauliflower rice, the, the trick about it is making sure, making sure you fry it up real, real good. And we steam it prior to yes, we steam cooking it. Five it. Minutes. A lot of times people do not like the flavor because they do not fry it up. And you have to fry it up, that's a trick to it. But you could do so much with cauliflower, and I got a lot of recipes coming out with cauliflower. Y'all just, just, oh my God, I can't wait. You need to redo the, the tater tots, oh, the cheesy tots. Oh, Jesus, those things are delicious. All right, so we're going to just fry it up. Daryl said, man, that looks great. And you know what? It's, it's good for your health. That's the main thing. It's good for your health. Um, years back, I would never eat the way I'm eating now. We None of us will, right? We used to eat bad. We used to go to buffets. We used to, oh, my God, I couldn't even begin to tell y'all how I used to treat my body. And I was sick. I had so many things wrong with me, man. I had diabetes. I had high blood pressure. I had um, depression. I had di digestive <laughs> problems. You name it, and I had it. Right? He and said today, a little closer so she can smell it. Today, I don't have nothing wrong. Lower your voice down, guys. Lower your voice down. Natasha said she would do it without the chicharrones. I feel you, Natasha. You can. AT Black. You can, but, but. You it, like them. Yeah. So I'm just going to get some on my plate, but yeah, I mostly just, just stick to the chicken. Right Mario Sane said, what's up, brother? That looks good. Keep doing your thing, man. Oh, I know sure, keto man. works. Subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Keto is live. Debra. Today, y'all going to subscribe for me. Debra, steam the bag of rice first for five minutes. Yes. Everybody just subscribe today for me. Everybody steam it subscribe. so that when it hits the pan, it's already softened and you're just adding the flavor and you're frying it. Okay, oh, well. Daryl doesn't eat uh, pork. You no. Have to. You can do it out. No, hold on. You can do it out. Yeah, okay. Well, we're not. Oh, for the chicharrones. Okay. You can do it without. Okay, so now that we got this right here, we're gonna load the heat down. We're gonna put the liquid in there. I'm gonna put some fresh garlic. So I'm doing some fresh garlic. I'll sit down a little bit. I'll get some fresh garlic real quick. Sit right okay. out to everybody, man. I always appreciate y'all joining me. Make sure y'all share my video. You can start your watch party. But the most important thing, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Please. All right, shout out to T Black, shout out to all the others. So we're gonna put the garlic in there like this. You know, his daughter just had a birthday. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, man, she's we've been known when they're kids. T Black's my brother from another mother. I promise you that. He knows that. Man, me and T Black, we go way back, man. Huh? Far, far back. It has to be at least, man, almost 20 years probably. I don't even know if it's been a long, that's long as Well, been. probably longer, being that me and you have been together. Hey, oh. Jaden! Yeah. Hey! Y'all better behave. Hey, y'all better behave. Everyone can see you. Why are y'all waiting till we doing something? They're over there wrestling. <laughs> T-Black said you're getting old. Bree's going to be 50 next year. Next year, I'll be 50. 5-0. -oh. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do the, the table salt. So how long has it been since we've been on each other? See? How long have we been family? Mm -hmm. um, I would say at least about 20 something years. Alright, we're gonna do a can of tomato sauce like this. Like that, right there. 2002, he said. Man. Man. Long time. Okay, so. Do the math, babe. Do the math. Well. I met you in 2003, so that was just a year Does after then. Does no, he said, oh, me, 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 yeah, me, you. Okay. Right, put some. It's been a long time. A little onion powder in there like this, a little onion powder. We need some cumin. Jaden, I'll turn off the TV and that game, no, honey. I'm not playing with y'all guys. I'm not playing with y'all guys. All right, guys, we're gonna do that right there. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the little tomato oh, sauce careful. in. Careful. 
Oh, it's splashing everywhere. That's, 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 okay, we got 3D. 3D going no. on. No. Are we going to move this around like this? Oh, go tell Jordan Lee Malone. Here, grab this. I'm about to go spank somebody. Please start spanking some butts. What's up, guys? Shout out to Albert. Shout out to uh, Terry. What's up, T? Uh, shout out to Robert, Frankie, Nim. Appreciate y'all. Let it ride. Cookers in the house. Shout out to Rick. Shout out to Deborah and Alex. How y'all doing? Guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keto is Live TV. Oh, that's my baby in 89. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago, man. 89. Jesus Christ. Those are the bad, bad days. My bad days. How you doing, Tilly? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? My wife will be back and she'll be holding the camera for me right now. She's trying to set it out my kids. My kids get out of hand. Shout out to Daryl. Shout out to all of y'all, man. Shout out to Maria. Okay, you know what? You said what? Uh, uh, that looks good. Keep doing your thing, man. I know. You, oh, I know keto works. I've been doing it for three years already, and I've changed a lot of people's lives, man. So yeah, it definitely works, Maria. It don't stop working. And if I could help anybody with the keto lifestyle or anything, get this thing or anything else, let me know, man. Let me know and be looking out for that book, The Truth. The Truth. Sugar is the devil. Dot net. Rick Gutierrez said he met you in 89. Yeah, I can't remember who it is, but I'm, I, it's, it, I met a lot of people in back Ooh, then. Oh, that was a long time it sounds, ago. It sounds familiar. All right, we're going to go ahead and move this. 1989. We're going to go ahead and move this right here. Look at this. Look at this, guys. We're going to go ahead and add a little liquid to it. And we're going to let it simmer. Oh, well, go and get started. I'll go help you in a bit. All right. All right, guys. Look at that. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. How good it looks. All right, so now we're going to add a little water to it. Little, little Did water. you add some chicken flavor to the rice? Oh, no, I didn't add the toilet. Oh, it needs we that, please. Just very little bit. Here, you got right that's my, it's right, it, that's right there. Would I have another one? Yeah, you got um, chicken flavor. I bought rice. a chicken one. Yeah, that's, that's Give me one. There's got to be one in there. There's got to be one in there, somewhere in there. They're all. There's no more at all? Right here, right here in the corner. But you don't use the whole thing. All right, I'm not going to use the whole thing. That beef or that's chicken? I'm not sure. That's beef. Hold on. We're gonna do chicken. Right, right there, they can just open it. Hold on. Yeah, Lily loves her rice with this right here. I think I think it's okay. Um, I don't think it needs it. I think it does. Not with my rice. I make really delicious rice. I mean cauliflower. You know, you know what I mean. Be careful. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go ahead and get a little spoon. I'm going to turn it on you so you can stir. A, you don't want to put a lot. You never want to put a lot because you don't want it to be too salty. That's good enough right there. That might be, that might stage be too much. Mm. But we'll be all right. Mix it up. We can mix it all up. All right, guys. We got this over here getting simmered. We got this getting simmered over here. Right here. Right? We're going to add some pepper to it. Did y'all see the... Did y'all see when I made that Jamaican food? Y'all need to go back and look at that video, man. That's what I'm saying. Y'all got to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I made the... The what's called the the rice and the beans. The jerk I made, chicken. The jerk. It was jerk chicken. It was all keto, guys. All keto. Make sure you go check that video out and share it. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look. Tell me if you could only just smell what this is. What it smelled like. D said, "Get it, 100." Hey. There you go. Appreciate y'all, guys. Good. Appreciate y'all. So we're gonna put a little more liquid in. It. We're gonna let it simmer. That's how we're gonna do it. Let it simmer. Ah. Uh. All right. I'll get the thing right here. All right. All right. All right, guys. So, uh, shout out to y'all, man. Appreciate y'all being on here again. You know what? Do y'all hear my kids in the back? Man, I'll tell you what. They, um, so, all right. This is good to you. This is, this is ready. This is ready already. She's going to burn this rice. So this is ready. We're gonna bring that over there. That's all. All right. So we are gonna eat this with a couple of low carb tortillas. We're gonna eat that right now. What's up, fame? How you doing, Dad? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know when I'll be back at Moonlight, man. Hopefully soon. Right now, I couldn't go over there because they only had 25 um, capacities or you know percentage. So you know they can't. They ain't gonna pay me to go there just for a little bit, you know. Um, and I don't, I don't know what time they're closing, but it'll be soon, man. It'll be soon. 
But I'm playing everywhere else, man. I got a lot of, I got a lot of, now that I have everybody on here, man, I do, I'm doing a lot of private parties, a lot of graduation parties, man. I'm doing a lot of things. And I also got some specials on that. So you see, what we're trying to do is the chichat on. See, look how the chichat on is now. See that? I don't know if you, who, who likes this, but look, that is so delicious right there, guys. That chichat on right there. Very, very delicious. This, I don't, I've never seen nobody make this, guys. I, I decided to do it because I said, you know what, let me just try it. A, a good cook just tries recipes out and not keep them in his head. So if there's something that you ever think about and want to put it together, you should just try it. You know, it might come out tasting good. It might not come out tasting good. I don't see why this won't be tasting good. I think it's going to taste amazing. So, all right, cool. Shout out to the Jasso family, man. Shout out to the Jasso family. Awesome, awesome family. Shout out to y'all. So right here, if y'all already joining me right now, we got chicharrones with pollo and salsa, meaning pork skins, uh, chicken with pork pork rinds, and salsa in Chile, right? So it got Chile and everything. Look, that's so good. You could also do this one in the green sauce. If you wanted to do the green sauce, you could do the green sauce and stuff like that. You could do the green sauce. Okay, so Lydia's coming back right now. She's going to hold the camera. I'm going to go ahead and take um, my apple cider vinegar, how I take it. For Sherry, Sherry just started doing the keto lifestyle, which is awesome. And I showed her, she wanted to know how I take to flush my body out. This is what I do every day, guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what I do every day for my body. So okay, we use this because we've been using this, okay? So you get this right here, and I'm going to measure it for y'all since, um, so yeah, this is one teaspoon. Yeah, one teaspoon. All right, I'm going to measure it for y'all. So we're going to go one teaspoon right here. Tablespoon. Oh, that's, this is this is the this is the MCT oil. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the MCT oil. That ain't, that, whatever that we put a little more. Well, half a tablespoon. Yeah. So that's going that's for the MCT oil right there, guys, because MCT oil is very strong, right? All right. We're and you that. can put it in your coffee. Yeah, that's we're gonna do the apple cider vinegar. We're gonna go with two apple cider vinegars full of this right here, right? So two tablespoons. So one, two, right? All right. So after that. We're gonna go ahead and put cream of tartar, cream of tartar, whatever you wanna call it. And the reason why for this, this helps your body, circulates your blood real good for blood pressure, for whatever you got, it helps a lot. It helps from aching parts of your body and all kinds of stuff. You're gonna put that in there right there, right? So this was just like a little couple of sprinkles because it goes a long way, right? All right, cayenne. Cayenne has a lot of good health benefits, a lot of good health benefits. So we're gonna put some cayenne in it, right? There it goes, bam. All right, so we're gonna do some lemon. Some lemon juice, you can do fresh lemon juice or you can do the lemon. We're gonna do some lemon right here like that, right? All right, now we're gonna do some water. As you know, I love the core water. Why? Because it got some amazing uh, um, electrolytes in it. So we're gonna do the water, put the rest of the water like this. All right, and now I'm gonna drink it up and I'm gonna drink it with a straw. Now this right here, what it does, it flushes your body out and it got so many Great benefits for it. Is Sherry still on there, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Because I'm doing this for her. And for everybody else, okay? All right, guys. If y'all ready for me to sip this up. Don't let that spill. Say, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm missing something. Okay, so we need some pink salt. Pink salt is for the minerals and everything that's going to go in it, so some pink salt in it. Always carry your pink salt, even if you're not doing the keto lifestyle, pink salt's good. All right, let me get some hundred emojis or anything I want. Let me know if you're ready for me to drink this right here. Look at that. That, that MCT oil goes straight to your liver, straight to your liver. So some people that have fat, fat around their liver or have bad liver, this will help them a lot. All right? Now this is not for everybody because my wife don't even take this. Nope. But I do. Nope. And it's amazing. It turns you to a Hulk. Well, all right. this is all for you, right? No, you okay. still have it on. Yeah, we're just trying to simmer it in a very, very low heat. You see? Yeah, lower. All right, that's cool. All right, Ruby says she's ready. 100. All right, 100? All yep. Right. All right, so you're going to move it around like this. Guys, and you know how I made this? So if you make this every day, oh, my God. You just don't understand how you're going to feel. All right, here we go. All right, after I take this, you're gonna see my chest pop up. 
It's crazy. It's a it's the MCT oil. And you're ready to mop and sweep well, no, and. Well, no, mm. no, I just cook. All right, here we go. Let's I go. cook too. Let's go. Yeah, guys, I, I really, I really can't do apple cider vinegar, but I do the MCT oil in my coffee. Ah. Ah. All right, hope, ah. hope time. Ah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> so. That'll wake up every single nerve in your body. That right there? Will awaken you for Woo! sure. That right there. You could be asleep and you take a little drop of apple cider vinegar and you're That's up. That's right there. And I'm going to tell you what it does. It cleans. It flushes. Literally, I start sneezing because it flushes your body out. It takes all the toxics. If you got any toxics in your body, it helps you. If you've got high blood pressure, so it helps you. It regulates everything. And if you've got diabetes, it helps that. It helps everything, guys. This right here is the truth. I promise you. Okay, so over here, over here, there's been some um, people, um, there have been some people that said, you can't eat beans when you're on keto. Honestly, I didn't, we didn't start eating beans till we got keto adapted, until we got to where we want to get to, and we, we don't eat a lot of beans, but we eat a little bit of beans. Now, you can eat beans, you know, it just depends, because beans got a lot of fiber, and they're good for your heart, you know? All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this in front of y'all because I always eat some in front of y'all because a lot of cooks, if your food's good, let's eat some in front of y'all, right? Do y'all agree with me? All right, and then I'm going to say goodbye after that. So we're going to go ahead and eat some of this right now. Get a plate out. Araceli asked, are the goalie gummies the same? Do you know? Are they like... No, they're not at all. Not at all. They're probably not as strong. They're not. They're not. You got to take about six or seven or eight to get a half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. So don't waste your money with that. All right. But if you do want, if you do have to take the capsules, I can tell you which ones you could take. I'll just get a little bit. God, look at that. Look at that, guys. Well, you might as well serve your plate. You up. know what we do? Because I got to take a picture for TikTok. Hold on. We got to post it on TikTok. We got to post it on Instagram. Instagram. But you know what? I'm done eating by the time he's posting everything, he's guys. He's helping a lot of people out. So here we go. So we got the, 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 the rice. I mean, the, the. so now we got the cauliflower Mexican rice. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Let me move you away from the edge. All right. It smells amazing, guys. Like that. Right? And again... Should I do the low carb tortilla? No? Okay. She's like, no, she's ready to eat. I'm All right. ready. It's hot. I can't burn my tongue. Well. All right. All right so here we go. It smells good. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, my God. All right. Guys. Oh, wait. You want some? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look. Mmm. That is, oh my God. I was not sure how that was going to come out with the pollo. It's tremendous. It's very good, guys. Guys, as always, I appreciate y'all. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm at 500 subscribers. And I can use more, guys. With everybody on here, please go subscribe. Keto is Live TV. All right? If you cannot remember anything I said on my show, I'm going to say it right now. Sugar is the devil. If you want some desserts and you want some treats, hit up sugaristhedevil.net. For everybody that's watching me on YouTube, thank you. And subscribe. Hit the bell and you'll know where I'll be at. Guys, take care of yourself. Be blessed. Till next time, we have to eat. Bye-bye.